Hey, welcome to the Fairy Vibrant Makeup channel. Oh my gosh, it's been a hot minute. I had filmed videos, but never posted them, just because I kind of felt like I needed to step back from um, videos for a while, just because, well, it's been a little insane in the beauty community as far as, like, drama, which, to me, I'm like, <sighs> makeup is supposed to be something that brings you joy and happiness if you love makeup. It's not supposed to bring drama. It's not supposed to do this. And I felt like the YouTube community got really toxic, so I kind of stepped back from it a little bit. And then I had filmed videos, have not had time to edit them. So I do want to put this one up first, and then I will kind of slowly start doing it. But I've been so busy with work and just life. I've been trying to enjoy everything. I've had so much happen in the month of, see, I haven't posted since I think April. Wow. It's been a while. It's been about two months. So I, I had a lot going on in May. It was my daughter's birthday, Mother's Day, which was still kind of hard for me. Um, and what happened? Oh, <laughs> My niece's graduation still feels super surreal. My niece graduated from high school and I'm like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what, what, what? So <laughs> I've been kind of like stepping back from YouTube and then of course my mom's birthday was the end of May. So I kind, I had a good day but I was still kind of in that mentality where it was really sad. Because uh, she would have been 65, so it was kind of a little bit sad for me. So I just needed to take some time off to regroup, come back, make sure the YouTube community kind of just simmers down a little bit, and then post some freaking makeup tutorials or some reviews. And I have palette reviews that will be pre-filmed, but this one I wanted to go up when I get back into filming. So yeah, if they seem a little old, one of them is the Game of Thrones Urban Decay collection, which you can't, well, no, no, no. It's still available in Sephora, which is weird. But I have, oh, I have eyeshadow palettes. So my husband gave me a gift card to Sephora, as he always does. He knows my makeup obsession, and sadly he supports it. But I had gotten this, and I thought it would be kind of nicely suited in the time that I'm filming this and um, a good way to honor my mom. So if you don't know Melt Cosmetics, this is the Gemini palette, which I do have a video which will be posted after this one that's going to be the Smoke Obsessions palette, me trying it out. But I wanted to try the Gemini palette because I haven't touched it yet. It's perfectly new, but my shirt just kind of was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So. My palette videos are going to be a little bit different. I think I'm just going to talk through them. I know I've, I've kind of talked through them, but it takes a long time to do that. And then I do have three Huda Beauty... Oh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> three Huda Beauty uh, eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to be reviewing. They're in the mail. And then I... Why did I do this? Why did I do this? <laughs> Oh my god, why? I had some money left over, so I bought this. So this is brand spanking new Melt Cosmetics Impulsive Palette. I'm not going to even show you what it is, but it's beautiful. I might do, okay, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll post this one, the Smoke Obsessions, and then I will try and see if I can review the Impulsive Palette. So that way I keep my Melt Cosmetics together. And then um, do the Huda Beauty afterwards. And then... Oh my god. So this dropped and um, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Um, anyways, I might do that one too. So I don't know. Let me know what palette you want to see. So I had, I had the Blue Blood palette filmed. So I'll probably do that afterwards. And then I had Smoke Obsessions. I think that was it. I think that was it. So, um, 
I think that's where I'm going to go. So first Gemini, Smoke Obsessions, and then I'll do the Impulsive Palette, and then I will post uh, Blue Blood, and then I will do the Alyssa Edwards when I have time. And yeah, so you have to understand I do have a full-time job. I am the Impulse Counter Manager at Macy's in Albuquerque. So if you don't know what Impulse Cosmetics is, it's actually a mini Sephora slash Ulta in there, except no mass products. Sometimes we have like Macy brand, but sure enough, we came out with a really cool, it's called Color, what is it called? Color, um, Color something, but it's really, really bright packaging, really cool brushes that it's super cool. So I do like some of the Macy's uh, brands that come out. It's just called Macy's brand, whatever, but um, yeah, so I, pretty much run that business. I run that counter. Um, it's just us selling Too Faced, Benefit, Urban Decay, pretty much all the brands you can find at Sephora, except for, you know, we don't have Bobbi Brown at this location or Laura Mercier, but we do, as a whole, we can order it. So if Macy's.com carries it, but we don't have it in store, we can order it for you. So that's a really cool deal. So enough about my job. I am going to get into this Gemini palette because I'm excited to use it. I'm going to zoom you up or zoom you in. I am actually, no, I'm going to do the swatches first. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over the place. I will zoom you in after I do the swatches. I just zoomed in just a little bit more. So uh, this is so pretty. Here it is in all its glory. Beautiful. So we're going to start from the top here, whichever you want to, I don't know, what you, really it's not the top, but whatever. Um, we're going to start with Mochi, Mochi or Moki. So this one is like, <laughs> it looks like baby poop. <laughs> it's a baby poop color, but it's like a mustardy green yellow. How oh, weird. It looks like, it looks like baby poop. I remember that from my kids, sorry. But um, it's pretty color. <laughs> Um, and then this one is called Fire OG, and that is an olive green. I've been really into the mustardy olive green colors. I love that. Next is Goals, which is a metallic, and this has a lot of, like, pigment. It's a metallic olive green with more or less, that one kicks up a lot, more or less like a lime green shimmer to it. Next is Leo. which is kind of chalky, but it's like more or less a more, more, um, olive green. Then Bonnie, which is a black, that is super black. Wow. And swatches will tell you one thing, but they won't necessarily, um, I don't think they depict how the, how it will perform. You have to try it on. Next shade is Cupcake, which is a matte brown. Next shade is Polka Dot, which is, it's close to how Cupcake looks, but it's more warm, a little bit lighter. Next shade is Laurel, Laurely, Laurely, and that is a lighter like camel color, more on the yellow tone. And then Gemini, which is a shimmery peach with a gold shift. And then last shade, I'm running out of fingers here, is Luna, which is a beautiful transition shade. So there is the Gemini palette. I was so eager to touch it, so excited. So now we're gonna do my eyeshadow and I'll talk you through. Favorite primer. I had an issue with my eyes. That's another reason why I didn't start filming right away is my eyes puffed up really bad and it started peeling on my lids and under my eyes because usually when my eyes dry, like get irritated, my skin will peel afterwards. So it's not a pretty picture, but whatever. So I prime with this because it's a little bit more moisturizing. There's still kind of healing. Um, so I'm going to start with Luna, which is that, wow, the fallout is real. And I'm going to just place that into my crease. So 
here's the thing. I've been wanting to try Melt Cosmetics for the longest time. Then, I managed to nag myself the uh, Smoke Obsessions. Then they launched it on Sephora.com. And I was like, what? So, I was all excited that now it's available where you can actually look at it in the store before ordering it. Alright, so, next we're going to go in with Laura Lee, which is this yellow mustard color. And let me tell you, the fallout is intense. So, make sure you tap off the excess off your brush. And I have been so out of the loop with YouTube, I just couldn't do it anymore. With all this drama that's been happening, it's ridiculous. It's like, it's just makeup, guys. So, I've been hearing a lot more dramas unfolding. I feel like, you know, I feel like it's just everything is wrong with the makeup industry. It's not what it used to be, that's for sure. Sorry, I'm, dicky, I'm dipping I'm dipping back into Luna to kind of soften those edges. The only thing I don't like about this, and this is something that you'll have hear me say a lot, is there's no must like a vanilla shade. I know I said mustard. <laughs> vanilla shade. Um, I like those to block out my eyes, but lately I've been not doing that as much. I want to try this baby poop color, <laughs> the Mochi. Mochi? Mochi or Mochi? And you'll notice on my eye here, there's texture. That is from when I had severe dry eyes. It's not dry, it's just textured now because it was peeling so bad that at a point it was cracking because it was so irritated. So if you see that on my eyes, it's not the eyeshadow, it's actually my eyes. It's an interesting color. Interesting. All right, so now I'm gonna go into more or less <laughs> a darker color. I love the olive greens lately, so I'm gonna be going in with a uh, fire OG. And then just kind of build my outer corner. Since my eyes have been a little bit like tricky to do because of the dryness and now I feel like it's not scarring but it's more or less like it's still kind of dry in some places but um the mats haven't been really kind to me so hopefully this will go well so I'm using fire OG to build the shade build the outer corner so I feel like you need to. And I know olive colors are very hard to work with. I'm going to go back into that mochi, mochi color. I can't say it mochi. And I'm just going to blend those edges out. But yeah, I wanted to get this palette because it's my mom's zodiac sign. And honestly, I don't really believe in personalities linking with the zodiac sign. I don't know, my mom was probably the most kindest, most generous hearted person and a lot of people say that Geminis are two-faced, can be mean, they can be nice. It's like, I don't, I don't believe that. I know some Geminis that aren't like that at all. Oh, sorry, I meant to say that I'm going into Leo, which is the darker olive green. And just kind of, I'm doing pressing motions because my eyes are still a little bit dry. And I notice that it's not quite adhering to some, you can see that patchiness right there. And it could be just my eyes because on this side, it's pretty fine. But I'm going to go on top of it with the black, so it's all right. I just want to build this shade. Okay, I'm going to go into Fire OG with my blending brush and just kind of blend those colors in very softly. Like, my eyes and mattes aren't the friends, so they tend to just kind of grab weird on me. All right, so I'm gonna go into Bonnie, right there, the black shade, and I'm gonna build it. I just wanna deepen that crease. 
I'm pretty sure that the black will adhere nice. And it could be the brush too. If you find that it just kind of switch brushes out. And mind you, I am not a professional makeup artist. But I've been using makeup long enough to where I know what eyeshadows will work and what won't. And then when I did have irritated eyes, everyone's like, is it a new eyeshadow you're using? I'm like, no, it was... Oh, yeah, and I, I forgot I had, like, two videos. One's the taco palette, one's the burger palette. So I'll have those ones up, too. Which one do you want to see first? Do you want to see the Jeffree Star one? Do you even care? Um, or do you want to see the burger and the taco? I know, I've been kind of getting a little carried away with eyeshadow palettes, but... You know... I love eyeshadow. That's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So I'm taking Leo, and you can see the fallout there. Be very careful. So I'm taking that olive green, which is Leo, and just kind of blending it with the black to soften it. You don't want that harsh black line there. You want it to kind of transition nicely. And usually I like to I get messy at the outer corners. If you see my tutorials, you'll see that, that I get really messy because I crisp it up with a makeup wipe or um, anything, really, like a Q-tip with makeup remover or um, concealer. So I need to touch up the black here. Kind of went away. That's the thing is you have to be very mindful that this can blend away very easily. Especially since I have texture in my eyelids now, it's blending away very easily. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a flat brush here. This one is a Morphe 421. Okay, and I want to take goals because this is screaming to me, but I kinda wanna see, let's see. I want to see what it looks like when you use a brush. Do you need? Yeah, I, I might I might need some uh, spray. So I'm going to spray the Mario Badescu spray, the lavender one. Pick up goals just with a dampened brush and just go to town. Shimmers have been really difficult on me as well because of the dryness, but now the metallics and shimmers are starting to show up a lot better. So I'm just taking this from the inner corner all the way to where I stopped with the black. This is like my go-to eye look, that and a halo eye, but I haven't done a halo eye in quite some time, so I've kind of been laying off that look for a bit. But I like this because it almost looks like I did a cut crease but I didn't do it. I'm sneaky like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take Leo and just marry those two colors together. And you notice I'm stamping it just because my eyes are dry. Even though I put a moisturizing primer, this still doesn't, it's not enough. So I don't wanna lose that pigment. Take a little bit of Bonnie the black one and just kind of stamp it in there so that it all transitions really nicely. All right, so here's my trick. Here's makeup wipe, which is ones you find from Walmart for 98 cents. And then you clean up the fallout. And then crisp up the edge, just like that. So you can get as messy as you want. You can use a piece of tape to make it more sharp. Do whatever you want. You do your makeup how you feel comfortable, but this is how I do it. And I really love the way it reveals a really nice look, so. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I did most of my makeup. It is a little dry still under my eyes, so forgive me. So now I'm going to take, and I want to go more into the browns, so I'm going to kind of clean off my brush here. I want to go into the browns, because I used a lot of the greens, which I really liked. 
came out really nice. Um, I promise I'll fix that because it's not blended right. Um, but let's go into Cupcake, which is this brown right Ooh, here. And then we're going to just smoke that on the outer corner right there. And this is what I've been doing. It's just my eye look has been that just how do I explain it? Um, my under eyes have been really dry and they're getting a little bit like dehydrated. So um, what I would do is just kind of smoke out. Sorry, I'm trying to find a brush here. Smoke out my lower lash line to kind of hide the lines and dryness. Works every time. Little hint or a little trick. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to get polka dot, which is that one right there. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to kind of smoke that out a little bit. And I'm going to kind of carry it into the inner corner a little bit. Ooh, I kind of messed that one up, sorry. Alright, and then I want to pick up clean off my brush here. I'm going to pick up Gemini, which is this peach color right here. It doesn't have any really highlight shades in it, so I don't know what I'm going to do for my inner corner. That's a little... Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's just my under eyes are still kind of having issues. I feel like I need my finger, but I have claws on, so it makes it a lot harder. Alright, so I'm just kind of softening up. I really need a little bit, a different brush maybe. Take my it brush. Probably the shimmer is not the way to go for my under eyes right now because you can see all those little wrinkles just because my eyes have been so dry. I'm just going to take polka dot and kind of fuse the colors together and just kind of dip into Luna, which is that far shade that I started out with, and just kind of really buff those edges out. And it's okay if you mess up a little bit under the eyes. So I don't have anything to put in the inner corner. <clears throat> That's what I'm a little like Oh man, there's no inner corner color, really. I mean, I could have used Gemini, but then I want the shimmer under my eyes. So I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. What am I going to cheat with? Let's just go ahead and keep it Melt Cosmetics, and I'm going to pick up the Smoke Obsessions, and I'm going to put, not the gold, but probably the green here. So I'm just going to, pick up a brush and then just kind of, these are very, ooh, well, I like that, but I don't. It's a little too green for my taste, for this look. So I might put the gold on top to kind of yellow it a little bit more. There's a gold shade in here. Toned it down a little bit, but yeah, like, um, they're very soft, so you have to be very careful. So I'm going to finish my eyes off camera and the rest of my face, and then I'm going to come back and let you know my overall thoughts on the palette. So I finished everything. If you're wondering what liner I am using, it is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I had an extra, so I have to use it. Um, the lip is Kat, uh, not Kat Von D, <laughs> um, Kylie Cosmetics, the Lip Velvets in Punk. Um, it's very grungy looking. Um, and my brows are the 
Precisely My Brow number six and Gimme Brow. You can't really see it anymore, but number six as well. Uh, blush is Tarte. And this is from that fairy one. This one's called Fairy Flush. Bronzer is Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics in Bronze B. And highlight, this has been my favorite highlight lately. I don't know if you could really see it, but it is the Wet n Wild highlighter um, from the Crystal Collection. So, I do like this palette. It's very uh, grungy. I love the grunge. Um, the only thing is, is it doesn't have a vanilla shade. It doesn't have an inner corner shade, unless you use Gemini, but I really didn't want to use Gemini in my inner corner. So I had to pick up the Smoke Obsessions one just to kind of fill that in um because that's just the way I do my eyes I'm not going to recommend that it's the same all across the board everyone does their eyes differently but I always look for a transition shade a dark shade um a vanilla shade to highlight my brow bone um a bright inner corner color a really pretty um inner lid color you know that's what I look for I did have a little bit of an issue blending out the olive and that's just because of my eyes it's not going to be like that for everyone else i don't believe so if you have very hydrated eyes and not dried eyes because the weather here has been windy and dusty and all over the place i guess the windy season came in late um and my my eyes are just not adapted to new mexico again so like i've been back in new mexico for a year and my allergies are now like kicking in and like oh we're in new mexico Surprise, it's dry out your eyes, puff them up. So <laughs> if I go to Las Cruces, I'm very allergic to everything there. So um, my skin will break out in hives. So uh, my skin stays pretty clear here. It's just my eyes just got puffy underneath and on the lid. And then after they get puffy, they get dry. So that is why I have texture issues in my eyes. I'm still trying to get back into wearing eyeshadow. So overall, this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. I just love it because it's a it's Gemini. It reminds me of my mom. Um, these are colors she would totally like too. So that's probably most of the reason why I bought it because it was my mom's. Uh, it is my mom's um, zodiac sign, and these colors are gorgeous. And I and I love I love Melt Cosmetics. They're really really high quality. So. If you are interested in getting Melt Cosmetics, you can now get it at Sephora.com. So try the website. There's a new palette out. It's called the Impulsive Palette. That'll be my next one to review. I overall like this palette. There's just two things that I need. Inner corner highlight and a brow bone matte vanilla shade. That's what I asked for in every eyeshadow palette. But I can't always get what I want. So overall, I would give this mm, about four stars. Four stars just because those two things that I really, really like in an eyeshadow palette. Of course, I can't get what I want all the time because it's not catered to me. It's catered to everyone else. But that's just what I look for in an eyeshadow palette. Um, overall, quality is very good. There was a lot of fallout, though. They're very, very pigmented, very soft. Some of them had a hard time to blend. Could have been my eyes. That's probably why. But if you want me to redo this first impressions, as in how is it working for me in a continued use, with my eyes getting less dry um let me know in the comments down below if you want to do that so i will definitely try my best to get videos posted more i apologize if it's late i really do i'm going to try to get back on my schedule i've been trying to get back on my schedule for almost two months now so it's it's just very i have a full-time job i have kids now in summer break so i will have a little bit more time if i'm at home to kind of do all this stuff but um other than that, it's it's very hard. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already, I will promise I will get more videos to you. Let me know what you want to see in my content. If you want me to change it a little bit. If you want something different. Do you want me to talk about jewelry? Do you want me to talk about clothing? Do you want me to talk about um, favorite lipsticks? Anything. Just let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much. I'm sorry this has just been a channel of eyeshadow palettes, but that's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to collect. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.